my channel. Today I'm going to do a fall decor haul for you. I did some shopping over the weekend and I purchased some items to decorate my home for the fall season and I thought it would share it with you. All of the items that you're going to see today have been purchased at Home Goods or Michaels, so let's get started. So my home is pretty much all neutrals. Um, I don't really decorate with a lot of color. It's pretty much all grays and camels and uh, linens and blacks and browns, very, very neutral. So I do like to decorate um, with metallics a lot just to kind of add some glam um, and a little bit of a kind of more sophisticated vibe to my home. So I got this little pumpkin from Home Goods and um, this was $6.99. And I love the little curled um, stem that's on it. I think it's really fun. It has these jewels on the pumpkin. And I'll insert a close-up picture here. So you can kind of see um, it's very, very delicate, uh, very beautiful. And it looks great on my buffet. Um, I also purchased an identical pumpkin, but this time I did add a pop of color. This one is orange. It has the same jeweled um, and brushed uh, design kind of on the outside of the pumpkin. And I put this one above my kitchen cabinets. I am going to do a fall um, decor home tour for you guys later. And um, so you'll kind of see how I decorate with all of these items and that. And both of those pumpkins were purchased at Home Goods. The next item was also another pumpkin. I have lots of pumpkins. Also purchased at Home Goods, and this is just um, like a grapevine uh, pumpkin. This was $14.99 at Home Goods, and I think it's really cute. I'm thinking about um, kind of wrapping or weaving some twinkle lights in it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet or not. Uh, but I thought this was really fun and is another item that I will be featuring on top of my kitchen cabinets. Um, it was actually really funny <laughs> when I was at Home Goods. Um, I had loaded my cart down with all these different pumpkins, and <laughs> there was a lady there who was, What are you doing with all those pumpkins? She clearly was eyeing stuff in my shopping cart. Um, <laughs> she was just trying to make light conversation, um, but I know she was eyeing my stuff, so. Um, I actually have a walk-in closet in my house that's just de dedicated to Christmas decor. Um, so I told her I'm working on my fall decor closet. So I do want to start decorating for all of the different seasons of the year. And um, so this is just kind of my way of getting started with the fall season. And I'll add to it every year. I usually like to shop um, at the end of the season so I can get the best deals. but. None of this stuff was really super expensive, so I don't really feel that guilty about it. Another surprise pumpkin, also from Home Goods. This one is quite large. I actually purchased two of these, and again, they're going to go above the kitchen cabinets. Um, this was $16.99, and I'll insert a kind of close up here so you can see it's a Again, some kind of natural vine, but it is whitewashed and then kind of um, brushed off, so it's got this very kind of shabby, chic, beachy look to it, uh, which is very much kind of like my home. Everything is kind of a whitewashed, de-stressed look to it, um, very natural. So I really loved that, and like I said, I purchased two of these, and again, they'll be going above the kitchen cabinets. The last and final item, though it is my absolute favorite, um, actually, I lied, two more items. Um, shoved in the bottom clearance section, always, 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 both at um, Home Goods and at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, shop the clearance section because they've got some really great, great uh, buys there. Uh, I had purchased and I had a small bunch of this um, wheat. Uh, leftover from a past holiday season actually not excuse me not for the holidays I purchased it because I did a bridal shower for my cousin and it was a fall theme and it was an evening event and so in all of the um, table centerpieces um, interspersed with the flowers we did stalks of wheat and so I had a small 
um, bunch of wheat left over from that event two years ago, um, but I wanted to add more wheat and I had purchased that originally at Publix. And so I had been looking at Publix um, for the last couple weeks thinking they might get some in, but to no luck. So lo and behold, at Home Goods this past weekend, shoved into the clearance section was this giant, and I mean giant, because this is just what's left over, bunch of wheat. Um, it was $19.99, and what I did was I separated it. It was all kind of wrapped together um, with burlap ribbon, and I just separated it and took it apart. And then I took bunches of the wheat, and I just kind of made these stalks of wheat that can stand on their own, um, and I wrapped them with burlap twine, and these are also going to go, again, above the kitchen cabinets. But that was a great, great buy. Um, I managed to make about... I made five of these kind of bushels that can stand on their own. And as you can see, I have this huge bunch of wheat left. So Sorry about that guys, technical glitch with the camera. Um, so what I was saying is I'm just gonna save that bunch of wheat and as with the inspiration hits, I will um, do something with it or if you have suggestions of what I can do with it, let me know. Uh, the last and final item this time that I got from Home Goods, and this I just absolutely adore is this giant wooden tray um, and then, I don't know if you can see I'll film a close-up for you and insert it here but it says give thanks on it and I just think it is the most beautiful piece it was $29.99 which is not bad and it's really heavy and sturdy um, and I'm just gonna again display it kind of above the kitchen cabinets but certainly if I was hosting Thanksgiving um, it would be a great item to have out on um, you know the dining room table or on you know a buffet I can think of so many ways that I can use that in the future and so I'm really excited to have that piece it was a great score and again this was one of those items that was shoved um, on the bottom of the shelf that had a bunch of stuff piled on so you really have to be in the mood to dig um, or at least I do when I'm going to Home Goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx or any place like that uh, because that's where I always find the best items and the best deals. So the last and final thing uh, I purchased at Michael's craft store and I just kind of wandered in and um, it was hanging on an end cap. I had gone through the store, made multiple circles and never kind of laid eyes on it. And I just wanted to wander down the Christmas aisle uh, just to kind of get a scope out of what's coming out for the holiday season. And uh, lo and behold, at the end of that aisle was this wonderful thing. I had been looking for a garland to go above my uh, china hutch uh, for a while and I kind of knew what I wanted which was a cotton garland. Uh, cotton has a lot of significance to me. I grew up um, taking family trips up to Georgia where my uh, great aunt lived and uh, my grandfather owned a bunch of property up there and they grew cotton. So I grew up playing in the cotton fields um, and running through them in the fall and which was the season where the cotton you know, is ready to be picked. Um, so I knew that I wanted a cotton garland. I had been looking on Pinterest and on, um, you know, Joss and Main and all these different sites that I use to kind of shop for home decor and never found at all what I was looking for. And lo and behold, it was at Michael's and even better, it was 50% off. So I'm going to insert a little clip right here of me finding it in the store. Absolute total score. We're not cotton garland. We will come back for Michael's. it. Michael's 50% off. Yes, please. And as you can see, uh, my husband, he was ready to get out of Michael's. We had been in there for quite some time, so he was trying to convince me that we would come back for it, but I was piling that in. I purchased three of these five foot long cotton garlands, and I am going to show you a picture of them here so you can see a close up. And I added to the garland by adding some burlap ribbon that I already had and some twinkle lights that I already had just to give it a little bit more oomph and pop. And I put the garland, two of them are above my um, china hutch and one of them is above my wardrobe in the living room that has our TV in it. So that's it guys. Um, oh, the cotton garlands were 
from Michaels, like I said, they're 50% off or they were on Saturday when I purchased them. They are regular $39.99, but because they were 50% off, um, they were half that, which was a fantastic deal. I got all three of those for under $60. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up if you like it and remember to subscribe. Till next time.